journey, seek him. I'll be tarrying for him for as long as it takes. When I first met him, I gave him my heart in that moment when love first makes itself known. In a flood of the new and unknown, I leaped without looking or even caring, something I've rarely done since. I was excited and high off of my own unselfish, unconditional surrender to something. It was peace beyond all understanding. Then it dulled. I allowed the portion of himself he so lovingly gave unto me to decrease as I increase. I thought about it, things, too much. Fiona slowly reached for the wheel, and in an instant I grabbed it, unaware of what I'd done until we were well off course. You see, I'm not used to surrender. It is a quality that is at home to be truly humble in spirit. And I couldn't see the road ahead, so how could I possibly let someone I've never seen but felt take the wheel? I'm not trying to make excuses, just verbalize how I and many of us falter in our walk with God. But his grace kept me when I was busy worrying what everyone else thought of me. Grace came upon me when I needed it the least and the most, when I didn't know enough to just call him. Grace covers me and his love overtakes me as I say this. It wasn't inspiration hitting that caused this poem, but the need to let this and so much more out. It's like when you're in church and the person with the mic says, when I thank of oh, the goodness of Jesus and all oh, he's done for me. Fancy words that can. There you go. 